John Paul, this is by far the best video you've ever made to me. I, uh, I, I have challenged you to not have that plaintive tone, and you did it. And I, I appreciate that. Very appreciative. Okay, I believe that you are not naive, which means that you think we are naive. You know full well the difficulties then, uh, the, the hegemony lock against IRV. Okay, now on the local politics thing, granted, you know, it is good to be involved with national politics as well. But it can be a bit like uh, liking the big rock stars and not appreciating your local bands. You know, sometimes there's the best geniuses who just happen to have been local for other reasons, you know. And so being entirely, you know, it, describing it as ditch digging, that's not true. You say, how is it going to help healthcare? Um, county governments make clinics. That's where they come from. Now, more so the state government. The state government in Hawaii, we had basically, uh, you know, a social health care system for a while until our Republican governor took care of it. And it was at the state level, and it worked fine. It was affordable, all the rest. It's a poor state, still, it was affordable, all the rest. And um, we still have pretty good first state. And, um, you know, that's a state level. Uh, county level, uh, does your county have initiatives? Because they don't at the federal government. See, at the federal government, the people don't have a voice in the initiatives. I mean, I even understand the argument saying we, that, it, that it wouldn't be a good thing at, at the federal, or and some people say at any level. But it's certainly an advantage we have right now. You can use that initiative process to accomplish things. And as I said, the police and county are the boss of the cops. You don't think the cops politically, in terms of your political entity in life, you don't think the cops have an influence? And ideally, it's a good influence, but that's what I'm saying. If it's good or bad, depends on the county government and the city government, too. We have a, a mayor of the county here, so I forget about the city government. But the very similar kinds of government really depends on how crowded the area is. So I'm glad to hear. And uh, I'm sorry to have done it in a provocative way, I guess, to a certain degree, but I'm also seeing that it worked. So uh, you stated your experience. I will accept that. Um, I far prefer this town. So um, as far as that goes just to, you know, use this tone and make our IRV things. You know, attach them to his latest video. If he doesn't make a new one, attach a hundred things to it. If you think that you want to attach to the fact that he has these subscribers around. I don't even know on that channel, I'm not sure if I'm subscribed or because maybe I am, I tend to subscribe to his channels, but he doesn't make videos on all of them. Plus, he's pissed at YouTube. So then, the result of that is then, if you're not naive, then just make some IRV videos. As I said, I'll respond to them. I will have a conversation. And then you say, but what if only five people watch? Well, that's what Inmendum's pointing out to you. It doesn't capture people's intention. I mean, I don't know if you, how you can wrap it around a naked woman and get people to look at it, but, you know, that's your problem just as much as anybody else's. Now, I am willing, and I believe that the seeds of the revolution in, is really uh, an evolution, and it starts at the single person and degrees of separation. When somebody gets a really cool habit hobby, they, they tend to go, and most of the things in our society that we know of came about that way, you know, prior to our current means. It's like the internet with intellectual and word of mouth things, is, it's amazingly fast and powerful. But it's like wildfire. It's like that old saying that a lie travels around the world before the truth gets its sh shoes tied, or whatever it is. You know, it's fast, but like grass, it dies every year. It really dies quick, too, prone to wildfire. So, um, I think a, a, a good conversation among five people, because that's a lot of people, right? I, I mean, I talk about philosophy where I go. I go to different kinds of parties and weddings and various places, and I intend to find out the other philosophical people. To get a conversation of five people is special. All right, if they're all competently involved, and that doesn't mean that they're experts or blah, 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 but they just, they express honestly and they listen to what's going on and learn whatever they can from the proceeding. Then really, with that low standard and nothing more, five people having a, a conversation about something of 
import, that is a huge, huge influence on much more than five people. Those people have children and so on and so forth. So I think it's well justified. I don't think that, you know, marketing is a lovely, lovely thing, but it's capitalistic communication. It's not really the way, the best communication. The best communication is you get something that touches people, and then it travels through that pipeline where people go, oh my God, have you heard of this? Did you think of this? Have you, hey, I just thought I was thinking this the other day. And have you thought this way? That's the real communication. And it's not a numbers thing. It blasts out in the numbers like with a tipping point and exponential kind of pattern. You know what I mean? To me, it's lovely the part where the exponential curve of popularity or knowledge goes shooting way up to the stars. Everybody loves that. I want to ride that up to my wealth and riches and fame. I am more interested in that narrow part, that part where it's just taking off. You know, because I believe that if you start an exponential curve, even while it's really gradual, you can verify that it has an exponential capacity and have some knowledge that at least some of those exponential curves, unless they're truncated, right, are going to shoot up like that later. And to me, that feels better. Having the seed and planting the seed, to me, is better than being there when it sprouts. But, um, so I do think it's good to get involved in, in, in local politics, but as far as it being a naive thing uh, for you, fine, because all politics is good to be involved in. So what do you want to do about the instant runoff voting? I mean, I think where you can get it is in the county. I think you can get a county council or a city council to say, we're going to use instant runoff voting. You know why? Because they'll save fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars in runoff contests in big cities. So I think you can do that. You're going to get the president or the, the, the national level and change the constitution. And Are you serious? Before they try it all over the country in little tiny governments that people kind of can think, well, whatever, it doesn't have to work. Okay, let's definitely continue this. And, uh, and uh, I'm not going to apologize exactly. I agree with what I had said. But, um, but this, you know, yeah, I wanted to provoke a more strong-hearted tone if you're going to talk to me.